Don't mind me, I'm just jamming out to the tunes. My mic is working, yes it is. Okay, I like this game way too much already, just for the music. Welcome to Space Dockers VR, everybody. That is a big ship. So I guess I'm a new hire. And I'm currently going through the tutorial, so bear with me. I gotta do, I gotta do that with my right hand. Okay. Uh, flight 101, please. Okay, whoa. Fork up cargo logistics. Did you know that statistics indicate that two out of five docker applicants provide us with false pilot and credentials? <laughs> On an unrelated note, we like to test all our new hires with a fun starting assignment. You should see a number of rings outside your cockpit. We want you to pilot the ship through each of them. But any hole is not a goal. <laughs> you need to fly through them in order. The radar will show you which one is next. Remember, there is no resistance in space. Your momentum isn't going to slow down on its own. You're going to have to counter it. If you get confused, look at how the space dust outside the cockpit is moving. You can also use the velocity indicator, which shows the direction you are moving. Okay. As a last resort, pull the space brake. It will bring you to a near stop. But these Got are it. the basic laws of space movement. I'm sure, as a perfectly qualified pilot, you already knew all that. Okay. <laughs> Not every hole's a goal. Hmm. All right. Okay, that's that. I have to move forward in order to do that. That's pivot. Okay. That's my lineup. Okay, um, first problem already. Ah, no! E break! <laughs> this is a lot harder than it looks. Okay. Okay, so that's my back and forward. Got it. Not side, not side to side. Okay. Whee, this is really difficult. This is really difficult. This is really difficult. Okay. We're going to That's to go forward. Got it. Go down. No, go up. <sighs> Pivot is a little bit of a strange one, and I'm already backwards, aren't I? Or am I upside down? I think I'm upside down. This was the right gate. Okay, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. I'm not starting to get it. Oh my god! No, don't go forward just yet. Don't go forward just yet. Listen, when I say to stop, I mean, I mean stop. I made it. I hit it. Break it. Full speed ahead! Come on, come on, come on! Hey, I made it. Boy, I'm so glad I don't have VR motion sickness. Boop. I give you a sweet kiss, moi! Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going! Yes! Woo! I'm a pinball. I'm, this is should be VR pinball is what this should be. Okay, I had enough of that. I wanna return to the corporation. Docking basics. I'm going to fail miserably. Good to see you again. We will now walk you through a typical day shift. <laughs> this is a crate's docking port, and above you is your docking port. Ooh. A successful dock will look something like this. When you get close to a crate, the above display will turn on. Use the three indicator lights at the top of the cockpit and adjust the ship so that all three lights have turned green. Oh, this can be horrible. This, you'll have a successful dock. 
You can click the analog stick to switch into low sensitivity mode. This makes oh. precise movement easier. So that's what the high and low in the corner is. Okay. Well, first of all, this is going to be horrible. So let's just go. Wait. I just found something new. I didn't know I could do this. Okay. So I'm already way off balance, but that's okay. We're just going to grab this and do this. How, how is this okay? How? E-brake! E-brake! Woo! Yeah, that was a fail. This is gonna take a while. I'm already failing this so terribly. This is gonna be like a whole hour just me trying to figure this out. E-brake! Okay, then let's turn. I just, I just wanna turn. Why, why is this not designed where I can just turn my entire thing? No, I have to roll, turn, and roll. See, I don't have to do this in No Man's Sky. Okay, I need, uh, can I, can I reset this? We're gonna reset this. Am I cheating? Yes. Thank you, already know what to do. More or less. All right. So let's go slow. Okay. That's not cheating. Are you sure? Go forward. Ah, I hit the wrong button again. E break. Okay, I'm still lined up. I'm still lined up. Do not touch this joystick, got it. I need to switch it to that though. Yep, that's where I wanna go. That's where I wanna go. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna and then slow it on down. That's fine, so now I can just do this. Nope. I do not think this is the game for me. <sighs> I'm still don't have something lined up. That should be like. Yes! Yes! The crate now has to be ejected into the area shown here. No! <laughs> Once you oh, work the ship into position, you'll really need to tug hard on the lever in the top right of the cockpit. Really oh, you mean the one I already pulled it? the payload quickly and launch our crate home. You mean the, However, the... <laughs> you want to avoid any premature ejections. For instance, <laughs> moving too fast or aimed off to one side. <sighs> Don't worry if this happens. We all have messy incidents from time to time. Just make sure to clean up after yourself and try again. I'm I'm sorry you had to witness that burby. That was embarrassing. On your first docking. We've tagged the drop off point on the radar. Head over to it now. <sighs> okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, thank God. Okay, do not touch that top switch. Are you gonna make me deal with that? You mother effers. Okay, step one complete. It's not so much that it's annoying, it's like, <sighs> other games have broken me by spoiling me on the controls. And this is like, no, you're gonna be getting the real deal. Okay, so let's go forward. And then eject it. And then pull back and hold. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Sometimes 
cargo may be sent flying away by a collision. You mean that? End up in a spin, making further docking attempts impossible. To force cargo out of a spin, each ship is equipped with our patented anti-spin limpets. These can be fired at cargo, and when they attach, they'll use retro rockets to slow the spin down. You'll want to do this until the RPM shows zero. Okay. Once the cargo is steady, we can recommence normal docking procedure. It's important at fork up that all packages are handled with care. We strongly advise- Yeah, we're gonna skip that. Ugh, I already know how to do this. Okay. So I guess first things first, let's go over here. So I have to shoot the limpets at it. Okay. I, oh, no, I hit it, I guess. One more. Come on. Come on. Just don't face the ship, that's all I ask. Don't, don't, don't slow in front of the ship. Okay. One more. And one more. Got it. All right. Forward. I don't know if you can see what finger I'm holding up. Okay. It's gonna go ram into ramming speed. No, let's not do that. And then again, I say that and I'm about ready to do it anyway. You just want to see me splint into oblivion. I know how it is, Burby. Okay. Let's line this up. Goodbye. Oh. At the end of each shift, you'll need to dock up at the drop-off ship as shown here. Are you shitting me? Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> okay. Well, I've hit rock bottom. Nope, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Tight spaces. Oh, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'll take it. Congratulations on making it through your first introductory shift. Oh. This helps ease you into your new role. No. <laughs> Did you just say live explosives? <laughs> Explosive loads. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Turn on the e-brake. Here we go. And <gasps> Did I do that? Okay, I've had enough. Oh, 